Jackson police are searching for a person of interest in the city's ninth homicide. 23-year-old Devon Johnson was shot and killed Friday while sitting in his car on Ellis Avenue near Highway 80. His sister was also shot and is in critical condition tonight at UMMC Hospital. Chris Fields spoke exclusively with their grieving mother. Chris. That's right, Ashley. A disagreement that started in the streets and made its way to social media is what Johnson's mom says caused both of her sons to lose their lives to senseless gun violence. Now, Devon Johnson was killed on Ellis Avenue Friday. What's even more shocking is, is she alleges the same person or people are behind both their killings. When they shot him this last time, they kind of made him even more paranoid with these guys. You know, my son feared for his life and he told me that. Christy Carey, the mother of two sons who both lost their lives to gun violence, is still Next trying to wrap her head around life. losing Other two children daughter. just months yeah, apart. Know. Her oldest, Markevious Carey, killed in November of 2023 and her 23-year-old son, Devon Johnson, Friday, January 26. Like after his brother that died, it got even worse with these guys. He's like, Mama, I'm telling you, you know, this, that, and all. And I'm like, son, they, they watching me, Mama. They, they trolling me. You know, when they follow him on Facebook, they call that trolling, they say. He say they watching me. They, they, they steady picking mine. This, that, I said, Devon, just, I, I'm t I got so sick of hearing those guys' names. So I just didn't want to hear them no more. Carrie says this all started after her son's alleged killer accused Devon of taking $6,500 from him. At that point, Carrie says she had had enough. And that's when she reached out to the person her son was involved with to pay back half the money the guy claimed her son took. I'm trying to them for the beef down. I just want this to be over. My son paranoid, he can't go nowhere. Got him sitting up in the house all the time, 24. He can't do nothing because of these guys. Every time he dot the door, they shooting at him. Carrie's former home and vehicle were shot up Saturday, the day after Devon was killed. The home and vehicle riddled with bullets while a family of small children were inside. I felt that it was retaliation and our investigation has led us in that direction. Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade was on the scene the night of the shooting. After investigating, he says they are now looking for 24-year-old Sahi Phillips as a person of interest. Chief Wade says Phillips is also wanted on three other warrants and separate cases. I consider Sahi Phillips armed and dangerous. He's a threat to the community. He's a threat to anyone who comes in contact with him. Chief Wade says U.S. Marshals and the Action Unit are out looking for Phillips. Once we charge him with the murder on Friday night and the aggravated assault of the young lady in that particular situation. Now, if you have any information about where Phillips is, call JPD or Crime Stoppers. Chris Fields, three on your side.